Well, six or seven thousand hours later, the Super Cuda is finally here at the Chelsea Proving Grounds. Chrysler spends a lot of time in development here up on the banking. 36 degrees banking up there, zero down here, 4.7 mile oval. Well, how fast is the Super Cuda going to go? Well, we took it to SEMA two weeks ago. Literally, we fired up the car four days ago. We did a small test with the car. Car ran flawlessly. Car's awfully fast. Over a thousand horsepower, that's when we ran out of dyno. We want to say this car is as fast as any other supercar, even the Enzo Ferrari. Let's see if we can get him. Before Chrysler would let us out on the big oval, they wanted to make sure that the Super Cuda was really a Super Cuda. We spent an hour in the Chrysler garages with their engineers to make sure that they were confident with the legendary motor car build. They all agreed this wasn't just another pretty face. One of Chrysler's engineers, who's also a test driver, put the Super Cuda through various handling tests. Then it was my turn to do the same. Considering the car wasn't running a week ago, any seat time before a 200 mile an hour attempt was much appreciated. Mike Lully, a Ferrari Challenge champion who's one of those rare Enzo owners who really uses his cars, was also allowed out on the asphalt lake to join in the fun. Both Mike and I were able to find the limits of our cars, and then we both exceeded them. Matter of fact, I broke a rear sway bar as the Super Cuda has the giant 345 19-inch Pirellis on the back. Even on cold asphalt, there's still a fair bit of bite. Now it was time to go to the oval. We were all concerned about the track temps. On the way up that morning, it had actually snowed. To say track temps were not optimal was an understatement, so we thought we'd ease into it, taking some easy laps at first. Again, we got a lesson from the test drivers on oval etiquette. Always pass on the outside. Now it was time to make a couple preliminary runs. Mike and I stayed together through the oval, but coming onto the straightaway, it was time to put the hammer down. With the massive torque of the 522-inch twin-turbo Super Cuda, it easily pulled away from the Enzo. just pulled like a freight train right off the corner right up to almost 190 miles an hour then I heard this sheer whistle in a snap I pulled in to see what had happened came off the windshield molding on the right side had blown clear off the car narrowly missing the end zone the left side the molding took a little more work to remove we hit 303 kilometers an hour it's about 180 788 miles an hour and there was more room to go, but that car moves. I think we can still fix it. Okay. Typical feature. Okay, let's go out again. Now it was time for our second run. I was really glad now that we'd blocked off the hood scoop in the grill to try and keep the air out from the engine bay. The hood even so lifted almost three inches of the center as we got up to speed. A little wheel spin in second gear. Third gear, I'm getting some traction. Fourth gear, we're building some boost. Fifth gear, we're building boost. I can feel the hood lifting. The sound of the next pass was like a jet coming off the corners down the straightaway. The Super Cuda was blowing a giant hole through the air at over 200 miles an hour. Just gonna let the turbos cool down a bit. I'm not sure how fast we went that time. We hit 324. 324, 324 kilometers, kilometers an, hour. an hour. But there's still a little bit left. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? There was, there was a little bit left, so I think... <laughs> this has better arrow than mine. You go out again, because I'm done. i got to hand it over to a customer. <laughs> well, you've done pretty good, you know. Mike really thought he could go faster. Well, after seeing him do a lap again at speed, I couldn't help myself, and I came out to play. 
Mike hit 218 miles an hour in the Enzo for a new track record. The Super Cuda on the last pass ran 208 miles an hour. It wasn't because it was running out of horsepower, it was definitely running out of aero, and I was running out of cojones.